Oh, here's Pooh's New Clothes, a Walt Disney beginning reader. One day, Pooh Bear was going to the bee tree to look for honey. On his way, he saw a surprising thing. All of his friends were together in one place. Dear, dear, said Pooh, I wonder what is going on. Then through the crowd, he saw a fox. Who could he be, Pooh wondered. Well, I'll just take a look and see. In the center of the crowd stood a handsome fox. The fox held up one beautiful outfit after another. Only someone who is very important would ever wear clothes like these. Take it from me, said Sly Fox. All the animals nodded and agreed. You could tell just by his clothes that Sly Fox was important. With clothes like those, I could look big and brave, thought Piglet. Why, I could be the life of every party, thought Owl. They would make me feel almost happy, thought Eeyore. Where can I get some, asked Tigger. Oh, do tell us, please, cried Kanga. I can make these clothes for you, said Sly Fox. I have some of the best cloth ever made, and no cloth is as soft, as smooth, or as light. It is also magic. Only wise people can see it. My word, muttered Owl. How wonderful, said Rabbit. Who will be the first to have clothes of my magic cloth, says Sly. Oh, I will, cried Pooh. Do you think you could make me a suit to fit? For a price, my good bear, for a price, said Sly, I will make you a suit, but you must give me all of your honey. Hmm, thought Pooh, that's quite a lot to ask. Wear it and you will be the wisest bear around, said Sly. Oh, all right, said Pooh. It is a deal, said Sly. Sly Fox set up his shop in a quiet corner of the wood. All of the animals left him alone so that he could make Pooh new clothes. But Sly had played a trick on the good animals in the Hundred Acre Wood. There was no magic in the cloth at all. Day after day, Sly pretended to work. All he really did was think about Pooh's delicious honey. Meanwhile, Pooh Bear looked for his honey. Now where did I put those jars, he sighed. This is why I need those magic clothes. They will, they will turn me into a wise bear and then I will always be able to find my honey jars. This thought pleased Pooh a lot, and he did not mind looking for the honey at all. While Pooh looked for his honey, the other creatures in the wood began to worry. I do hope I will be able to see the clothes of magic cloth, said Piglet. The owl said, only wise people can see the clothes. I'm sure I will be able to see them. I know I will see them too, said Tigger, but he secretly wondered if he was wise enough. Maybe none of us is wise enough to see the cloth, thought Tigger, and he was worried. Well, I am off, he said, and then he bounced over to Sly's workshop. He wanted to find out if he was wise or not. Take a look, said Sly, isn't it lovely? Uh-oh, thought Tigger, I don't see anything at all. But that is not what Tigger said. He told Sly Fox that it was the prettiest, prettiest cloth he had ever seen. And he told the other animals the same thing. Soon Owl began to wonder if he was wise enough to see the magic cloth. He did not want to be the only one who could not see it. So Owl too went to visit Sly. See here, wise Owl, said Sly, isn't my cloth grand? And Owl was about to say, I don't see any cloth, but he remembered that even Tigger had seen it. Yes, indeed, that cloth is grand. And he walked away slowly, thinking very hard. Next, Piglet went to visit Sly Fox. Glad to see you, Piglet, said Sly. Pooh's clothes look better every day. But Piglet did not see any clothes. Oh dear, said Piglet in a worried voice. I, I just remembered something, something I must do at home. So Piglet ran away fast and almost ran right into Eeyore. Fine clothes, said Piglet nervously. Very fine clothes. He hurried away, shaking his head. Eeyore had heard quite enough about Pooh's magic clothes. What good are magic clothes anyway, he thought. Besides, what if I'm not wise enough to see them? This made Eeyore very sad. When he got to Sly's, Eeyore felt sadder than ever. I would have to be the only one who can't see Pooh's clothes, he thought. But Eeyore would not say that. He could not see the clothes. So he muttered, they are all right if you like that kind of thing. Kanga and Roo also went to visit Sly. Oh, Mr. Fox, how lovely, said Kanga. What is Mama making such a fuss about, wondered Roo. I don't see any. 
Rue began to say. Hush, dear, said Kanga, and then she left in a hurry. But, Mama, there were no clothes in Mr. Fox's shop. I know that, dear, answered Kanga. Just don't tell anyone else. The next day, Rabbit went to see Sly Fox, and he thought Sly might need some help. Sly was happy to see Rabbit. The clothes are almost done, he cried. Come inside and take a look. Rabbit stepped into the shop. There must be some mistake, he thought. I do not see a stitch of clothing anywhere. But all Rabbit said was, my, my, those are wonderful clothes, all right. At last, Pooh found all of his jars of honey. Did Sly Fox say he wanted all of my honey? Perhaps just some honey would do. He did say all of your honey jars, Pooh, but think of what you will get, said Piglet. The best clothes in all of the world, added Rabbit. Yes, you're right, sighed Pooh, and he picked up all his honey jars. Here I go. Yum, thought Sly when he saw Pooh's honey. He grabbed the jars. Here is your grand new suit. Oh, said Tigger. Ah, said Rabbit. But, said Roo. Hush, said Kanga. I love them, said Pooh. He did not care that he could not see the clothes. He knew that he was just a bear of little brain. But Pooh was glad his wise friends could see them because that was enough for him. See the pretty flowers on the shirt, asked Sly. They look so real you can almost smell them. Pooh sniffed the air. Sly pretended to help Pooh put on his shirt and pants. Pretty good fit, aren't they? Now for the jacket, said Sly. A beautiful suit. And it is so light in weight that you won't even know you're wearing it. That's true, said Pooh, in a small voice. How do I look, asked Pooh. Handsome, said Kanga. Brave, said Piglet. Happy, said Eeyore. Not wise, asked Pooh Bear. Oh, yes, very wise, added Tigger, and he was glad to be able to say something nice. That's just what I thought, said Pooh. Just then, Pooh saw Christopher Robin. What do you think of my new clothes, Christopher Robin, asked Pooh. Why, Pooh, you silly bear. Those are the same clothes you always wear, said Christopher Robin. But I gave Sly Fox all of my honey to make these. They are made from magic cloth. Only wise people can see them. Pooh stopped. Suddenly Pooh Bear knew the truth. There was no one wiser than Christopher Robin. If he could not see the clothes, then they just were not there. That sly fox played a trick on me, he said. I wish I could kept a little honey. It helps to have honey at a time like this. Don't feel bad, Pooh. Sly fox tricked us all, said Owl. I knew there was no cloth, said Roo. All of you knew, said Christopher Robin, but you were afraid to believe your own eyes. You were afraid of what the others would think. And I think you are all perfect just the way you are. Then Christopher Robin took them home and gave Pooh Bear an extra hug to show him that he was the best bear in the whole wide world. The end. Mommy, I'm going to do